Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. So today I'm going to be doing a reading for you all. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node. Come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest. If there's anything that you need to know in regards to how to get a reading from me, please check the description box and read carefully. And as always, I really do appreciate each and every single one of you. If you are new here, I am your intuitive reader. I give reads on the Virgo collective so that they can see what's either going on in their life or bring some sort of resolution to the situation that I shed light on. Okay. Also, uh, thank you guys for getting your readings from me. I really do appreciate the support and the love and the trust that you instill with me doing your readings. Um, I did pick up this morning that there's some sort of money that's coming in for someone or a group of people, okay? I'm not really sure as to, like, if you're, you've been waiting on something, but this could be that a, a secret admirer or someone that you're dating will be giving you money or spending money on you. So there will be some sort of splurge. what's going on here for Virgo so we have third chakra archangel Chamuel there could be a 37 year old male it looks like there's a woman that he's waiting for that can open their heart to them this woman could be trying to figure out some sort of strategy to take on gaining strength or regaining strength or being this man's strength, okay? There is a male that's going through a stage of healing. He could have been in a really rocky relationship. He could have endured a lot in his life. Yeah, this person is very, very methodical or is taking on the energy of being methodical. Yeah. This male could be very envious of your, your step up game or growth. I'm getting that someone here is very envious. Someone's very envious of the fact that you were able to, to move forward or vice versa. I do feel like you, are, you have the gift or the spirit of love, okay? That's what you carry. You embody just love all together. And whatever this love is that you have to give, Virgo, there is a man that's willing and ready to accept it, okay? Hmm. see what else is going on for Virgo. What do we need to know? So Spirit is saying nothing is yet set in stone. Something could be a work in progress, but I do see that prosperity lies ahead. Taurus energy. This person could have Taurus in their chart or they can be an actual Taurus. But nothing is yet set in stone. Let's see why. Why is nothing yet set in stone for the Virgo? Ten of Wands is in reverse. This is fire energy. Nothing is yet set in stone for whatever is transpiring or going on at this time because someone here is working through those things that may be very heavy that's going on in their energy. I'm hearing someone can be transmuting chaos, whether they're masculine or feminine. Someone is trying to figure things out. I'm 
also getting the four of wands. Yes, yeah, someone wants to figure things out before they come towards you because it's like, I don't know if they're dealing with someone at this time. They could be a younger feminine energy, but they're trying to figure something out. They're trying to make sense of where they feel like they have to be. Someone could be dealing with someone, an individual that is toxic to them or enables them to do toxic things or this could be you here okay someone here could feel like they are like insanely addicted to you and they want to make sure that if they do come towards you that they, they have to take care of things on their end so that they can grow from the situation and and deal with whatever it is that they're struggling with or vice versa okay Tell me more about Virgo. What's going on for Virgo currently? Someone's name is Christy. I just heard that name, or Kirsty. Okay, so we have unexpected money. This person could have invested a lot of money into his business, into his personal life, into his home, and didn't see the investment that he's made in monetary form. He could have been waiting for a check or for something to clear or come back around his way. But he ended up losing. Okay? Tell me more for Virgo. So we have a pleasant letter. So I'm getting this. This could be a marriage or some sort of uh, business dynamic. Yeah. I'm hearing that this person was disappointed. This person uh, might have thought that it, things were gonna work. Hmm. There could, could be some sort of communication through, through email, text, in-person, message, DM. Hmm. Then we have prison in reverse. Yeah, someone here is envious of like how you have your shit together and they keep digging themselves or putting themselves in situations that they have to find a way out of. Yeah, because they, they lost you. Someone is upset and envious that they put themselves in certain situations to lose the people that they should have allowed themselves to, to, to have or to gravitate towards. Okay? Hmm. Someone's trying to set themselves free from whatever is holding them captive or hostage. Tell me more of what's going on. Tell me more of what's going on for Virgo. If you know that you're not a male, and I keep saying male and you're a female, then this reading is for you or a male that's external to you. This could also be I'm getting family. An unstable family member is what I'm getting. Yeah, this is someone that might have faced uh, some sort of uh, unstable living arrangement. Okay, so we do see the journey card. This usually means to me that there's some sort of travel or um, someone going on vacation or going to see someone here. Someone might have got stuck going to see someone or lost some sort of money that they needed to get back or something. Yeah, because of a false woman or man. Yep, someone took some sort of money. I'm hearing uh, someone had their, their passport uh, stolen or lost. Could have been taken um, intentionally to keep someone stuck here. Yeah, this could be a, a wife or husband, whoever this person is. 
yeah, someone here is in despair. Something could have taken place, and I think that the person that might have taken or um, if this person lost this situation or the, this passport or whatever the case may be, some sort of document, then um, someone had to prove their innocence of like the reason why they came out to wherever they, it is that they journeyed to or this could just be something didn't work out the way that this individual had anticipated and and money got got um, entangled into the situation okay someone feels like they wasted their time anymore what's here for Virgo so we have the main female there's a main female that might have decided to let go of a connection that they have with an official person I don't know if this is because of this mature woman or this younger woman or whoever this friend is or family member to this individual I'm, I'm hearing that someone was um, not really coerced but it's like someone had a change of heart in whatever it is that they wanted someone ended up you know breaking up with a, a person and this is weighing heavy on this this masculine's mind but I'm hearing that someone dodged a bullet anyways without even knowing it, okay? I'm getting that whoever this person, this, this man is or this woman is, there's going to be somebody better for this individual or if this female broke up with this male, they see someone that is a better match for them that they would like to marry. And it seems like because this person is from some sort of wealth, or has or came in approached this person at the right time they are breaking up with this individual here okay and dealing with this other male let's see what else Virgo got going on what do we need to know so we have attraction in reverse. Yeah, someone repelled their energy away from this, this masculine and this masculine is going through like wanting to reconcile with this individual but needing to be let this be a lesson to this person, okay? They might have had an earth, ener earth energy towards Virgo Capricorn that they might have broken up with for this this woman and this woman turned their back on this male okay let's see what else is going on here for virgo so we have retreat getaway travel and experience which is what we've seen with this journey card someone here may need to clear their mind or go out of town to uh, deal with some things. I did see the airplane. So someone definitely is taking some sort of flight. This could be um, a, a business trip, a personal trip, or some sort of getaway. Yeah, someone could be feeling emotionally drained. They could be angry. They could not really know what they're going to do or where they're like, you know, their journey is taking them. So taking a trip to refresh themselves or to get some sort of reset going is what you're doing or the person that's external to you is doing. Tell me 
you more of what's going on. So we have affection. Affection is in reverse. There is a male or female that grew envious of a, a another female that may have moved forward. Someone was jealous of the connection that you two had or vice versa. You could have been jealous of a connection that someone else had with another individual. Yeah. What I'm getting here is that someone didn't put their family first. They rejected a family. They focused more on whatever it is that they wanted at point in time just to release a karmic partner or relationship. Hmm. Let's see what else is going on here. What do we need to know? Okay, so we have an accusation that's showing up here for you. Someone accuses you of, of something even if nothing happened. So someone is still upset with you about something concerning that got brought back to them. But someone knows that they're a fuckboy. They're only pretty to, to look at and do the deed with. But for them to even, like, mention you or even think that you could do something without having the proof or believing who you are, it's like it goes against everything that this person has possibly said to you. They actually believe their own lies and swear it's the truth. Okay? What is this accusation in regards to... The high priestess in reverse, not being up front, hiding something or only saying what you feel you want to share, um, holding out on some sort of money. I'm hearing exaggeration, like someone exaggerates things or stretches things out to, to make it seem believable when it's not or it shouldn't be. We have the emperor. So there's like an earth, fire energy, Aries. Yeah, this person feels like you're going back and forth between what you say and who you are, what you do. Um, yeah, this person feels like you're not coming to them with certain information because you're holding out on them. I'm hearing this person is sort of like, if you, if you do some sort of job, they expect you to give them money. I don't know if you two live together or not or uh, split the bills or whatever, but it's like someone here wants to claim all of your money or the money that you make, okay? Someone here needs to work on their trust issues because I think that these trust issues stem from past relationships that they're now bringing into their present relationships or from the past, whatever, however you wanna say it. Tell me more about this high priestess in reverse. So they, they think that you're being secretive when you're actually being open with them, but they don't want to accept the truth. They want to sabotage the connection by bringing in more problems and trouble, speculating certain things. Yeah, someone here thought that you were dealing with other people, that you weren't their number one. They wanted you to make them a priority in which you did, but they didn't believe that here. Yeah, this person was very irrational when it came to when it came to decision making. Yeah, we have fighting. It's like being with this person, they made you feel like you had to fight to be with them or to defend your honor against them with the truth. It, it also made it uh, frustrating for you and um it made it frustrating for you where you you may have lashed out on this person. You may have put your hands on this person because you were so frustrated. And I'm not saying it's right, but 
most times you may have like acted out of anger because this person brought it out of you okay this person triggered you to act out okay yeah this person here is a uh, incubus succubus vampire they'll suck the life force out of you until there's nothing left they are an incubus succubus and that's just what it is they are a spiritual danger to you if not emotionally okay Yeah, I just seen a, a picture of a bomb. This person is like a ticking time bomb. You never know what side of this individual you're going to get until you face them. Yep. Look, someone here might have broken a lot of promises or feels like you might have did this to them. Yeah, promises to make plans, but does it follow through? Spirit is telling you that this, this celebration that you're supposed to be doing at this time wait a bit to open up that bottle just a bit more effort okay someone here whether it's you or this person that's like external to you they're easily adaptable to different surroundings and other people or this is you you may do where it needs to be done okay someone here apologize for their bad behavior but it seems like they just keep repeating the same toxic cycle Every time they apologize, they do something else. And then they do something else, and then they do something else. It's just a never-ending cycle with this person. So do they ever learn? Do they want to learn? Do they do they see themselves growing and, and, and being positive? Or is it just going to be the same old sad story? What does your spirit guides want you to know? about this situation for Virgo so forgiveness you need to forgive yourself and forgive this person that you've been with okay spirit wants you to go ahead and focus on these big changes that are coming up a year from now between now and a year from now hmm Me more of what's going on for Virgo. So we have the egg that's coming out first position. So there's something that is successfully going to work out because of the plans that you put into it and the hard work. Dealings of dealings or relationship with a man. There is some sort of proposal that this male is coming to you with because they see the level of success and planning that you do you work hard but you play even harder they like this this dynamic spirit is telling you control your anger or you will be sorry okay like i said someone here could be trying to get into some sort of marital situation with you because of the success that you've you've had or that you currently have so that they can be in some sort of relationship with you where they get you into some sort of trouble. Look, financial pinch is happening. The news is on the way. So there's an older man or a spirit guy that's going to be telling you something um, that'll make you open to the knowledge that you should have. There is an angel that's protecting you from these people that are going to be casted out by your guides in the month of November, okay? Tell me more of what's going on for Virgo. What do we need to know? So we do have the camel that's showing up. Persevere and you will overcome your problems. Hmm. Someone may have too much concern with sexual matters or how they proceed with you 
but they feel like you're being stubborn about these sexual issues or wanting sex from you but you want to this is not about sex here things will not always be this way a change is coming if you're in need of help your spirit guides are saying that you should just ask they're there for you someone here could be an aquarius as well or have aquarius in their chart Tell me more of what's going on. We have pig. So beware of greed here. Beware of greed. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. This could be in regards to the sexual, um, the sexual card that I've seen. This could also be uh, getting caught up with the law. Yeah, someone here is trying to make you take some sort of journey only to get caught up with the law. Don't jeopardize your work or your career to get involved with someone that wants to put you in, in harm's way. Disconnect yourself from this situation. This is what your guides are trying to tell you. Okay? Let's see what else is going on here. What do we need to know? here for Virgo what do we need to know for Virgo at this time so we have hesitation showing up number two someone doesn't know how to proceed or go forward with some sort of beginning there could be some sort of confusion decision or worry about a plan that they haven't uh, they haven't felt very confident about someone may need intel from a, a tarot reader about a person that may be trying to control them this could be a friendship someone wants to know the ins and outs of a person before they could be very comfortable with a certain situation that's what I'm getting. So this is like giving me like new person coming into your life. You guys are, you know, living together or you guys see each other a lot. You spend a lot of time with this person, but there's something that's off about this, offsetting about this individual. Yeah. This person could have a low self-esteem or cannot generate stability without you. This person is very codependent or has become codependent being with you or around you this person has to know exactly what you're doing when you're not with them in order to feel secure and you don't feel like you you can do it anymore but you don't want to assume the worst about someone if this person has potential is what i'm getting so um to make you comfortable you want to know that this person is trustworthy because you don't want any accidents to happen here. I'm hearing laws and violations. So someone here could have been uh, jammed up with the law or has violated someone or some sort of rule. I heard government laws of some sort. I'm hearing GTA, Grand Theft Auto. Someone has stolen a, a, a vehicle or was in the business of stealing vehicles or whatever the case may be. Anything that this person could get their hands on or might have, if this person hasn't done it themselves, they were, they were accompanied or set out to be there while this happened. Yeah, I told you, and this card just came out just now. I heard GTA. This person doesn't want you to find something out about what they've done or what they were called to do. So it looks like they're trying to pull the plug on you before shit goes left. 
because now things have gotten out of hand. Hmm. Someone wasn't supposed to fall in love with you. Whoever this person was, they were sent in by someone. And they tried to, to get you to go along with something. But it didn't happen. Hmm. That's why that law card came out. Thank you, spirit. Hmm. Tell me more of what's going on here for Virgo. The numbers 2, 4, and 16 could be significant. I'm hearing like a hit and run situation as well. Someone could have been involved in a hit and run. Could have been late at night. This person was driving a car or a vehicle and they had to act or think fast. They started driving this, this person that they, they uh, mm, I don't know. They got into stealing cars and it went from there. We have soul ties. Hmm. Whoever the person is that you have a soul tie with, this masculine, there is going to be some sort of divine intervention to, to cause or force some sort of breakthrough for this person to uh, get shocked into reality. Someone's third eye chakra needed to be restored. Whoever this masculine energies, energy is, Awakening, someone is is growing awakened or remembering the connection that they had with you. It's allowing them to forgive themselves or you for not trusting themselves enough to nurture this situation. Someone here wants to express something to you, whoever this masculine is. Let's see what they want to express. What does this masculine want to tell you? about this awakening period i told you a masculine is going through some sort of transformation spiritually or you could be that masculine take it as it resonates if you're a cross watcher watching then this is for you or you're seeing exactly what your person is dealing with at this time Okay, so your person here, the two of pentacles in reverse, there's a lot that's going on or that has taken place since you two have left each other or the situation could have been messy between the two of you at point in time when you disconnected from this individual, okay? With the knight of pentacles, I'm getting that someone here is needing to take things one day at a time or to pro slowly process, you know, um, how they, they, they are going to appear to you or the people in their life. I'm also getting that someone here could have been with a magician, an occultic magician that used their sexual behavior or attributes to keep someone on lock. Okay? Hmm. Yep, they ended up having a child for this individual or got caught up in a karmic family situation. That's what I'm getting. And that's what they want to tell you. They see here that you are their true twin flame or soulmate, this person here wants to get rid of this stalemated connection with this feminine so that they can fully commit to something, okay? But either way it goes, they want to unify 
this breakthrough that they're going through, but trying to figure out how to get this done, okay? Without allowing alarms to go off. Yeah, this person could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's going to be some sort of completion. This is something that your person has been talking to their guides about. Hmm. Tell me more about what's going on for Virgo. What do we need to know? seen this card in quite some time it's been a few weeks we have detective in reverse so voyeurism someone here could be uh, revealing themselves revealing certain parts of their body to um, to get some sort of I don't know Someone is falsifying information or someone may have lied on this individual. Hmm. Someone might have been telling this individual that you are on like an OnlyFans or exposing yourself or maybe they have some sort of picture. I'm getting that someone might have given them like an idea about you or you might have heard something that they're going to be confessing to you about. Someone could be a call girl, someone here could live the life of a social media influencer. Someone could have a premium account someone here could have lied on someone and said something like this okay let's see what is this detective card in reverse what's this voyeurism falsifying information hmm So this is the Nine of Cups. I'm hearing something about finding pictures, photos in someone's phone. Someone here may be overindulging in um, some sort of activity. Tell me more. Nine of Swords. Someone here may be seeing 999. Okay, this is about spiritual laws of karma. Something's falling back on another individual. So if this person might have lied on you or believed a lie about you, when you were with this individual, it's now happening to them, okay? Someone's being accused of dealing with other people, exposing themselves, or getting pictures from others exposing themselves and may have been caught, which is why they're now facing uh, karma. They did the same to you, right? They thought that you were dealing with other people when you weren't with them, right? And now the same thing is happening to them. The Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Look, I can't make this up. This is justice. 
the same thing that they put you through is now happening to them. Or this person that they were dealing with did the same thing to them. Yep, there was some sort of argument. It could have been physical. And now there's a delay in someone's life or how they proceed or what they're going to do next. You see how the tables turn? Yep. Something is being exposed that will change the dynamic forever. Okay? Someone here is swearing up and down. They're, they're done. Yep, six of swords. Someone is done. Someone is no longer going to be speaking to an individual that might have betrayed their trust that they have built up. So someone is going to be very closed off, very brick wall. Someone is upset. Someone is upset that they let someone like you go based off of not believing you, but the same thing ended up coming back in their direction, which is karma. Yeah, they, they know that they made a mistake letting you go and not trusting themselves or the ability to make that, that decision. Hmm. Something is, is going to happen. There is some sort of tower moment that's coming in. Someone's going to end up losing their stability, their money, the respect in their workforce, their career. Yep. Someone's career is going to be ruined off of some sort of scandal. Hmm. Someone could be in the limelight as well, too. Someone could be a club promoter or is in the club a lot of the times. The nine of wands. Someone is afraid that they won't be able to, to stand the test of time to get their life back on track. Mm. Get back to the read for Virgo. I didn't expect this to be so detailed, but this morning it looks like spirit has sounded off. We have saboteur. Someone here is highlighting their fear of self-empowerment and changes it would bring to their life. Someone is allowing fear to get in the way of making the changes that they need to bring to their life. Someone has the, the potential of this prince energy. Someone has romantic charm and a potential for power. And they see here that you are the queen or you have queen qualities. You radiate the regal feminine. They like the way that you use your benevolent authority to protect others. So this prince is looking for a queen and they see all of the attributes that it takes to be this queen. Okay. Tell me more here for Virgo. What do we need to know? Okay, so we have Liberator. I'm going to keep whatever comes out. Liberator is in reverse. We also have Child Eternal in reverse with the Prostitute in reverse. So someone here could be imposing their own tyranny over those that claim to be liberate, ignoring legitimate constraints. So whatever someone is holding back, they're ignoring 
themselves to free, be free of whatever it is that's holding them back. I also see child eternal. Someone has the inability to grow up and be responsible. Extreme dependency on others for physical security. And then we have prostitute. Someone places material considerations and security above self-empowerment. So someone feels like it's, it's too much work to even liberate themselves from anything that's holding them back so much so that they'd rather get caught up in the rapture of being stuck. They'd rather be stuck than to free themselves of whatever is holding them back from being responsible and taking accountability in their life. This could be you or the person that is external to you. This male figure. Hmm. Let's get into the tarot real quick. What's going on? What do we need to know? Eight of Pentacles, the King of Cups. Someone here ideally wants to work with you or wants to collaborate, wants to uh, make money with you, sees you as an investment, but they're not communicating this for whatever reason because they're afraid that you might shoot them down and let them go. It's like you're at this point in like right now, you seem to be a more stronger person than them emotionally this person is too caught up in creating toxic cycles and not allowing themselves to to grow okay so they're avoiding you because they feel like you're going to shoot them down let's see what else is going on some of you could be dealing with a water sign or an earth sign Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. So since you two have been apart or that they have been on their own, they've been thinking a lot about contacting you, but they just don't know how or they don't have the means to do this, a number or whatever the case may be. This person has been doing a lot of things that they shouldn't be. Okay, this person could be abusing their authority. If they do have money, they use money to get whatever it is that they want or how they want things to be done. Yeah, but someone wants this to be over. Someone wants that type of energy to, to, to be over. They don't want to be like this, but it's because, you know, the energy that they spew out is used as like a mechanism not to, not to emote properly yeah so we have the hangman the hangman talks about you know seeing things from a different perspective not being so hung up over the things that might have happened in the past so I feel like Someone wants a new beginning, but needs to, to build some sort of structure around taking the opportunity to find ways on how to do this. Okay. Hmm. What I'm hearing is that someone's willing to fight anybody that thinks that they can, uh, be of competition to them about you but someone's trying to avoid this someone's in this energy of thinking that like no matter who you're with like I'll always be that one like someone is overly confident or just like really you know confident within themselves or what they bring um, someone's real spicy here with their energy with this Ten of Pentacles and the Judgment, this person this person wants to give you the world or they want the world with you, but they don't know if, you know, the past really 
resembles what they want at this time. But this person here feels like you think that they don't value you. <laughs> this person here, even though they're caught up on their business or they're handling business, they still think about you from time to time is what they want you to know. Just because they, they got life life in right now does not mean that they have forgotten. That's what they told me to tell you. Yeah, they think about you a lot. Six of Cups. I'm also seeing that they want to, they realize that they need to, like, take their shot. Yep. I can't make this up. The lover's card at the bottom of the deck. They want to take a shot at, at, at falling in love or if it's even possible to fall in love with you again. We have the nine of swords in reverse. Every time they think about love, they get scared off. They get very vulnerable, but we already know what's good. Because the King of Cups seems to be a star player in this reading. There's going to be some sort of fast communication coming towards you. Hopefully it's not on no rah-rah. Yeah, I do see some sort of uh, argument here. Someone is upset. Someone's upset that you could be collaborating or dating other people. There, it seems like someone here is upset. Anyways, uh, Virgo, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Also, if you're interested in your own reading, please read the description box and follow the instructions. And also subscribe on my other channel in which I will give you the link to in the description box. And I'll see you guys in the next one.